your birthday tonight? Happy birthday. Is today your birthday? No, it's not. It's not my birthday. Can we go in and sit eat or what? Um, I think Can we just go eat? I got a little scared because this whole party was based on the fact that it was his birthday. It was not his birthday. Andy's unhappy with the whole situation. Is it, so you, this is like you asked me to go out to eat and this is like a three ring circus. It was very chaotic. It's getting a little stressful. Good to see. I got there and there were so many people. They must have found a list of every person that I ever made eye contact with. Who's that birthday boy? And Paul Hogan. There's a lot of people. Is that Paul Hogan? Happy birthday, mate. Paul Hogan look alike. This is not my birthday. What was that? Who was he? This night is chaotic. There's no food, there's no alcohol. Can we get some food? Everything is going wrong. This is just turning into a big disaster. We can't even tell me about the food. The majority of the guests were all wanting and willing to drink. You suck! Boo! My friends drink! My friends are big boozers. The party was turning into a nightmare. Day was just one gigantic miscommunication. This is turning into a big cluster. I told Andy that Max said that it was his birthday. So I find out that Max had told them it was my birthday. We shouldn't listen to Max. Max always does my schedule. I just tell him what to write down. He screwed something up real bad. On the 11th is, um, Andy Garcia's birthday. I cannot forget that. So right. I put a star Andy, by that because he's Cuban. I specifically told him to write down Andy Garcia's birthday. The party is going horribly, so we have to kind of think of something to kind of salvage this. So even though it's not his birthday, we give him some gifts kind of from the heart. <laughs> I think it's my least favorite color. You can't keep it. <laughs> ex-girlfriend was invited. Hi, welcome. Hi. How she got on the list, I don't know. Jen and I, um, I wouldn't even call it dating. I don't need to talk to you right now. You want to start something? It's going to be something. You want to start something? It's going to be something. No, don't start nothing. It's going to be nothing. So you invite my girlfriend and you invite my ex-girlfriend? Who's manning the phones that day? My ex-girlfriend is very... I don't want to say psychotic. She's psychotic! I said it, I'm sorry. He's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny. Is this what I look like to you? Is that what I look like to you people? I want to go back in and just say something. I don't necessarily know if that's the best idea right now. Andy's ex-girlfriend is kind of stewing. She's getting more and more upset about it. And she says she just wants to talk to Andy just for a couple minutes. Eventually, she plows her way up to Andy and she gives it to him. Thank you. I'm going to review the tapes and I'm going to find out who planned this cluster. It's not my birthday. Thank you. It's not my birthday. 
honestly, I'm starting to believe that the kids like to torture me. They like to see me in pain. I needed to see who screwed the day up. I sat down and, and, I, and I just sifted through every second of love, the whole day, which is tedious. Why? This is turning into a big cluster. tapes it's not my birthday we had a really fantastic party i guess you could call someone of a disaster now it's time to come on back to the house and let me throw you a party we're all freaking out a little bit it's time for another elimination but don't bring chips and salsa to this party bring a torch We come around the corner to see multiple tiki torches, as well as Andy sitting at the head of the fire. I might pull ideas from here and there, but they're all mine. They're all my ideas. Andy is not original. It's all rip-offs from other shows. It's very different. Mike out, come on, seriously. Come on, come on. Just walk that. No, 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 no. I got, I got your thing. You just go sit down. I got it. I always get nervous whenever elimination round comes. I was really nervous. We're gonna start the ending. Each one of you came in carrying a torch. That torch, that flame, represents the flame of life. I'm sorry to say I have to eliminate not one, but two people. Two people. I could not believe it. We ruined a day in Andy's life. The whole party was a ridiculous three-ring circus. Just a complete travesty. If somebody asks you what, what, what you do right now, just say, I work for somebody and I make his life a living hell. I could sense a lot of nerves. It's so unpredictable. It's a scary world. The tribal people of the tribe have spoken and I have listened. I will be extinguishing your torch with this. <sighs> Nikita. You were the official party planner, but there was no food, there was no drinks, there was basically no party. You're an official party pooper. You are flipped. Please step forward. I should have went with my first instinct and left her, but then I brought her back. Now I realize I, I, I have to cut her again. At Andy's birthday party, she didn't really do anything. I think she should have stepped up a little bit more considering the day she wasn't here. Like your f torch flame here that I'm about to extinguish, I must first extinguish you. I don't know, I forgot what he was even talking about. Bye-bye. Andy is over dramatic. So I cut her, brought her back, and then I cut her again. Call me, maybe we can do lunch or something. Just keep going, I'm not bringing, you know. This is still very hard for me. Tanika. Disappointing. Maybe you should change your name to Disappointing because that's what that cake was. It sucks because I haven't done anything to be in this position. Tanika, train, leaving the station. All aboard. I'm not gonna cut you because of cake. Sometimes I throw a little whip, whippo, curveball. I cannot believe I didn't throw up. For the second elimination, it's time to throw out some dead weight. This godforsaken sinking ship. Ebony? Ebony was in the game, but she wasn't in the social game. She's just real quiet. Maybe that's what some people want. 
but I, I'd, I'd rather have somebody there saying, Andy, I love you, I'm right here, I wanna marry you. The message I'm getting is, I wanna be <laughs> clipped. I'm not gonna try to overexert myself just to try to maybe please someone. The thing about Ebony is that she's almost like a piece of furniture in the room. Hollywood rewards personality, and they <laughs> clip furniture. Like the flame that stands beside me, I extinguish you first. I also extinguish your flame. I couldn't extinguish the flame. I couldn't get the thing out. I'm waving that thing like, like I'm a majorette. That's a, like a baton made out of fire. Get this out. Yes, please. Oh, oh, thank you. Is that how you assist me? The whole staff's going up. Just get out. The bush went up like, like a wall of hell, fire, and damnation. It's absolutely insane. There's flames everywhere. Oh, yes, please. Out of control. It was crazy. <laughs> sure why I got eliminated. It was just based on my personality. This game is not played fair. And I just stepped on her. But that's Hollywood. Hollywood is waiting to chew you up and spit you out, just like that. On the next episode of The Assistant. <laughs> I woke up sick, but I'm going to make my assistants do what I would normally do. He's sitting over here because he wants to break up with you. I've got to complete my mission. What happens if you don't? Everything was kind of out of my control. You turned me into an ass. For once in my life, I was at a loss for words. Yeah, I don't think you guys are funny like it. Clean up on I'll vomit. You shut up and stop talking. The whole place is just going crazy.